Today, we're diving into the beautiful world of Belgium, where history comes alive, chocolate melts in your mouth, and every street corner has a story. We're exploring everything from the epic Battle of Waterloo to the irresistible charm of Belgian fries and the world-famous Trappist beers. So, whether you're here for the culture, the food, or to see what makes Belgium so unique, you're in for a treat. Let's get started and uncover the magic of Belgium together. Ready? Let's go. Diamond Capital, Antwerp. Antwerp, Belgium, has been central to the global diamond trade for over 500 years. Approximately 80% of the world's rough diamonds and 50% of cut diamonds pass through this city. The Antwerp Diamond District, also called the Diamond Quarter, spans less than one square mile, but is the largest diamond district globally, with a turnover of $54 billion annually. The city's diamond cutting and trading expertise has made it a crucial player in the global gem market. Comic books, Tintin and the Smurfs. Belgium has a rich comic book history and is known for iconic characters like Tintin, created by Hergé, and the Smurfs, created by Peyo. This small country has more comic book artists per square mile than any other nation. The Adventures of Tintin, which started in 1929, is one of the most popular European comics of the 20th century, translated into over 70 languages. The Smurfs, which began in 1958, gained international fame, primarily through animated adaptations. Three official languages. Belgium's linguistic landscape is unique, with three official languages, Dutch, French, and German. Dutch, spoken by about 60% of the population, is primarily used in the Flanders region. French, spoken by approximately 40%, is predominant in the Wallonia region and Brussels. German, spoken by less than 1% of the population, is used in the eastern part of the country. This multilingualism reflects Belgium's complex cultural and political history. World's First Casino Belgium's Historical Casinos While the world's first casino opened in Venice, Italy, Belgium has a storied casino history. The Casino Spa, established in 1763, is one of the oldest in the world. Located in Spa, known for its healing mineral springs, the casino was part of the leisure complex catering to visitors. Belgian casinos blend history, luxury, and modern gambling entertainment reflecting the country's rich heritage in this sector. Shortest National Anthem La Brabanson, the national anthem of Belgium, is notable not only for its content, but also for its brevity. The anthem has versions in the country's three official languages and was initially written in French during the Belgian Revolution of 1830. The anthem consists of three stanzas, each in one of the country's official languages, Dutch, French, and German. Each stanza comprises four lines, contributing to the anthem's concise nature. Typically, La Brabanson lasts around one minute when performed, depending on the musical arrangement and tempo. This makes it one of the shorter national anthems worldwide, symbolizing Belgium's unity and national pride in a concise yet powerful manner. The anthem's adaptability, revised to reflect the country's constitutional changes and national sentiment, mirrors Belgium's inclusive and responsive approach to its diverse linguistic and cultural landscape. Inventor of Saxophone Adolf Sax The saxophone, a now ubiquitous instrument in jazz and classical music, was invented in the early 1840s by Adolf Sax, a Belgian instrument maker. Born in Dinant in 1814, Sax created the saxophone to bridge the gap between the brass and woodwind sections in orchestras. Patented in 1846, the saxophone is unique for its ability to project a blend of woodwind smoothness and brass power, making it a favorite among musicians for its expressiveness and versatility. Sax faced numerous challenges in his career, including legal battles and physical attacks due to the disruptive nature of his inventions. Despite these obstacles, his creation gained prominence, especially in military bands, before becoming a staple in jazz and contemporary music. UNESCO recognized carnivals, Carnival of Binch. The Carnival of Binch, recognized by UNESCO for its cultural significance, is a highlight of Belgium's rich folklore. Held annually in the town of Binch, the carnival is famous for its unique characters, the Gilles, 
who wear elaborate costumes, wax masks, and wooden clogs. The event, dating back to the 14th century, culminates on Shrove Tuesday with a grand parade, traditional dances, and the throwing of oranges symbolizing good luck. UNESCO recognized the Carnival of Binch in 2003 as a masterpiece of the oral and intangible heritage of humanity, emphasizing its cultural importance. The carnival adheres strictly to tradition. The Gilles' costumes, for example, have remained unchanged for centuries, and participation is limited to local men. This highlights the community's commitment to preserving their heritage. Attracting up to 100,000 visitors annually, the Carnival of Binch plays a crucial role in the local economy and cultural identity. Birthplace of the Printed Book While Belgium is not the birthplace of the printed book, a title that belongs to Gutenberg's printing press in Germany, the country played a significant role in the early printing era. The Plantin Moretus Museum in Antwerp is a testament to this rich printing heritage. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and was the home of one of the earliest and most prolific printing houses in Europe. Established by Christophe Plantin in the 16th century, this printing house was crucial in disseminating printed works across Europe. Today, the museum houses two of the world's oldest surviving printing presses and an unparalleled collection of early printed books, including a 36-line Bible. Its archives contain over 20,000 volumes, illustrating the evolution of book printing and its impact on European culture and science. Battle of Waterloo The Battle of Waterloo, fought on June 18, 1815, near Waterloo in Belgium, was a decisive defeat for Napoleon Bonaparte. This battle marked the end of the Napoleonic Wars and led to Napoleon's final exile. Today, the battlefield is a major tourist attraction and historical site featuring memorials, museums, and preserved fortifications. The Lion's Mound, a large conical hill, was constructed to mark where Prince William of Orange was injured during the battle. The recently inaugurated Waterloo Memorial offers a modern visitor center showcasing artifacts, interactive exhibits, and immersive experiences. Both the Lion's Mound and the memorial contribute to preserving the historical significance of the Battle of Waterloo, allowing visitors to comprehend the strategic complexities and human sacrifices that unfolded on that fateful day. Belgian chocolate. Belgian chocolate is synonymous with quality and craftsmanship. Belgium produces over 600,000 tons of chocolate annually, with over 2,000 chocolatiers nationwide. Brussels and Bruges are particularly noted for their chocolate shops. Belgian law requires a minimum of 35% pure cocoa in chocolate products bearing the Belgian chocolate label. Furthermore, the entire production process must occur in Belgium, from tempering to molding. This dedication to excellence has led to innovations such as the bean-to-bar movement, where chocolatiers control every production stage, ensuring a superior chocolate experience for connoisseurs worldwide. Belgian pralines, invented by Jean Neuhaus in 1912, are a specific highlight, featuring a chocolate shell with a soft, often flavored filling. French fries origin. Despite their name, French fries are believed to have originated in Belgium. The story goes back to the Meuse Valley, where villagers traditionally fried small fish. During winter, when the river froze, potatoes were sliced into thin strips and fried as a substitute for fish. This dish gained popularity among American soldiers stationed in Belgium during World War I, who referred to them as French fries due to the region's spoken French language. The Belgian method of double frying, where potatoes are first cooked at a lower temperature and then fried at a higher temperature for crispiness, contributes to Belgian fries' unique texture and flavor. Today, enjoying Belgian fries with an array of delicious sauces is a culinary experience that continues to be celebrated locally and internationally. Trappist beers. Belgium is synonymous with Trappist beers, brewed in monasteries according to centuries-old traditions. Only 14 Trappist monasteries worldwide are authorized to produce beer, and six are located in Belgium. These beers are known for their complexity, rich flavors, and high alcohol content, ranging from 4.8% to 10.2%. Each Trappist brewery has its unique recipes, often guarded with great secrecy. The monastic brewing tradition dates back to the 19th century, and the beers are typically named after the monasteries. Beyond being a source of contemplation for monks, Trappist beers have gained international acclaim, 
attracting enthusiasts who appreciate the craftsmanship and authenticity of these exceptional brews. Spa Town The town of Spa, nestled in the Ardennes, has been synonymous with health and wellness since Roman times. The natural hot springs in the region have made Spa a renowned spa town, contributing to the popularization of the term spa worldwide. The mineral-rich waters of the spa have been lauded for their therapeutic properties, attracting visitors seeking relaxation and rejuvenation. Beyond its spa heritage, spa has become a cultural and recreational destination. The town hosts the Circuit de Spa France Orchamps, one of the most iconic Formula One racetracks globally. This dual identity as a spa town and a motorsports hub reflects spa's diverse appeal, offering visitors a blend of natural serenity and high-speed excitement. Belgian Lace Belgian Lace, particularly from Bruges and Brussels, is known for its intricacy and beauty. Crafted since the 16th century, this lace became essential to European fashion. Lace making is a meticulous craft, often requiring several hours to produce a small piece. Belgian lace is distinguished by its various styles, including Binch, Brussels, and Mechlin lace. This delicate textile remains a symbol of Belgian craftsmanship and elegance. Michelin-starred restaurants. Belgium boasts many Michelin-starred restaurants, reflecting its rich culinary tradition. The country is known for its diverse cuisine, which blends French finesse with hearty Flemish influences. Belgian chefs are celebrated for their innovation and commitment to quality, often using local, seasonal ingredients to create exquisite dishes. The high concentration of top-rated restaurants in Belgium makes it a must-visit destination for gourmets. Street art, comic murals. Belgium cities, especially Brussels, serve as open-air galleries for street art celebrating the country's rich comic book heritage. The comic book route in Brussels features vibrant murals depicting beloved characters from Belgian comic strips, including Tintin, The Smurfs, and Lucky Luke. These larger-than-life artworks add aesthetic value to urban spaces and pay homage to Belgium's status as a global powerhouse in the comic book industry. The comic book route, initiated in the early 1990s, has grown to include over 50 murals, each telling a visual story. These murals contribute to the city's cultural identity and attract locals and tourists keen to explore the artistic expressions of Belgium's comic book legacy. Combining comic book art into the urban landscape reflects Belgium's commitment to nurturing and showcasing its cultural heritage in accessible and visually engaging ways. Castles galore. Belgium boasts one of the highest densities of castles in the world, with over 3,000 castles scattered across the country. These castles range from medieval fortresses with rich histories to opulent chateaus surrounded by picturesque landscapes. Each castle has its unique architectural style, reflecting Belgian history's diverse influences and periods. Gravenstein in Ghent, for example, is a medieval fortress with a storied past while the castle of Bouillon in the Ardennes offers panoramic views of the surrounding countryside. The abundance of castles in Belgium provides visitors with a journey through different eras and architectural styles, offering a glimpse into the country's rich cultural and historical tapestry. European Union Headquarters Brussels, Belgium's capital, is the de facto capital of the European Union EU. The city hosts the headquarters of major EU institutions, including the European Commission, the Council of the European Union, and the European Council. This central role in European governance positions Belgium as a key player in shaping EU policies and initiatives. The Adventures of Tintin The Adventures of Tintin is a seminal comic series created by Belgian cartoonist Hergé. First published in 1929, Tintin's adventures have been translated into over 70 languages and have sold millions of copies worldwide. The series is known for its clean, expressive drawings, the lean Claire style, and engaging, adventurous narratives. The Atomium The Atomium, an iconic symbol of Brussels, was constructed for the 1958 Brussels World's Fair, Expo 58. Designed by engineer André Waterkeen and architects André and Jean Polak, the Atomium represents an iron crystal magnified 165 billion times. The structure consists of nine interconnected stainless steel spheres, each with a diameter of 18 meters. 
The Atomium's unique design captures the spirit of the atomic age and symbolizes progress, scientific innovation, and international cooperation. Each sphere houses exhibitions and public spaces, offering panoramic views of Brussels from the top sphere. The Atomium has become a cultural and architectural landmark, attracting millions of visitors since its inception. Its enduring popularity reflects Belgium's commitment to showcasing modernity and innovation globally. Belgian Beer Culture Belgium's beer culture is deeply ingrained in its history, with over 1,500 beer varieties contributing to its diverse brewing landscape. Recognized by UNESCO as an intangible cultural heritage of humanity in 2016, Belgian beer culture encompasses traditional brewing methods, regional specialties, and a rich tapestry of beer styles. Belgian beers include various varieties such as lambics, saisons, and ales, each with unique flavor profiles and brewing traditions. Trappist beers, brewed by monasteries, hold a special place in Belgian beer culture. Festivals like the Brussels Beer Weekend and the Zythos Beer Festival celebrate this heritage, attracting beer enthusiasts worldwide. Belgium's commitment to preserving and promoting its beer culture ensures that each sip tells a story of craftsmanship, innovation, and a deep connection to the country's cultural identity. And just like that, our journey through the heart of Belgium comes to a close. But remember, every end is just the beginning of another adventure. If you've enjoyed our travels together and are curious about what's next, please join our community by clicking that subscribe button. Your support keeps us exploring and sharing more of the world's wonders with you. Until our paths cross again, keep the spirit of adventure alive. See you on the next journey.